Well, over 100 years ago, the Schlocum family owned land lot 114 in Byron. Well, eventually, Sarah and Jerry Thomas Williams bought the land. They built what is now known as the Williams Slocum Home. And as Suzanne Lawler shows you, stepping inside is like stepping back into the early 20th century. Call it a mini masters. The road driving into the Williams Slocum property is lined with welcoming trees. As I say, it's a museum. <laughs> It does feel like that when you walk into the portrait filled hallway. Barbara Ray grew up in this home and every framed artifact has a story. This is her grandfather's watch. So he didn't have a watch. So he got in a poker game one night with the men and he won the watch. Barbara is 93, but she bolts around on the original pine floors, briefly giving a fascinating history. This was my grandmother and grandfather's Williams's room right in here. The bed goes back to 1821. I said that was the first tub, bathtub, I ever got in as a child. That was my grandmother's breadboard where she made biscuits. And so if it rang five times, you knew it was your call. If you rang four times, maybe you just wanted to see what the neighbors were doing. Most of the furniture is from her family, from her grandparents on down. But some items come from Washington, D.C. Her late husband, Richard, served 10 years in Congress from 1982 to 1992. And we traveled a lot while he was in Washington. I got as much education with that as I did in my Byron High School days. In one place, she has a Hall of Presidents, Jimmy Carter, George Bush, and the Reagans. This is the, the White House Christmas parties we went to. They were all fabulous, particularly when the Reagans were there. Nancy Reagan just had the most beautiful Christmas parties. The pecan orchard outside dates back to 1947. It's still part of the property, but maintained by a commercial farmer. The barns have become homes themselves. And Barbara always has an open door for visitors. And I had a whole group that came out to make their senior pictures. So it's used by a lot of different people in the community. Including brides. They use the front porch for the wedding ceremony. A lot of them do. In a historic home where three generations enjoyed the space, today Barbara lives alone with her buddy. <laughs> what have you got? Her children live close by, and Barbara feels quite fine living in a home with so many memories. And it's a joy to be here. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Oh, that house is so beautiful. I love all the stories that she has. I feel like you could talk to her for hours. I know, and, and Suzanne also mentioned that every uh, picture in the frame has a bit of history, but I mean, when she talked about, you know, Christmas uh, at the White House with the Reagans mm -hmm. and the picture with Jimmy Carter and some of the other presidents, it's just amazing how every picture on that wall has some sort of history to it. I love it. Now, at one point in her life, Barbara actually took care of two of the Slocum family members until they passed. She was very fond of them.